In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a regular expression to an NFA. If you haven't yet checked my video on the conversion in the opposite direction from an NFA to a regular expression, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can check it out. So for the first step, we're going to create the simplest automata that has two states, a start state and a final state, and a transition from the start state to the final state with the regular expression. For our next step and our final step, we'll use the following three rules in order to convert transitions in our automata. Each rule refers to a different type of transition. So rule one, we will convert an R or S transition to two separate arrows, an S arrow and an R arrow, meaning we have two transitions, two new transitions, an S transition and an R transition. Rule number two refers to R followed by S transition, and that we will convert to two separate transitions divided by a new state. Our third and final rule is a transition with a, with a star, meaning a self-loop. This will be converted to a lambda followed by a new state, which has a self-loop with that same R, followed by a transition with a lambda. So let's see an example to make this a little more clear. First, we'll do step number one. We'll create a simple NFA with a start state and a final state, and we'll put the given regular expression on that single transition between the start state and the final state. After completing step number one, we'll continue to step number two. We'll convert the single transition in our NFA according to the three rules we learned. We'll start by using rule number one on the plus operators. So after using rule number one, we'll get the following automata where we have three transitions according to the three different expressions separated by the plus operator. And we will continue to break it down using rule number two. So after using rule number two, we now have three transitions instead of the topmost transition we had before. And we will now continue to rule number three in order to break down the A plus B star expression. So after using rule number three, we converted a transition of a plus b star to two lambda transitions separated by a new state with a self transition of a plus b. Now finally we will want to convert that a plus b and we will represent it in two ways. We can represent it by an a comma b representation or by using two separate arrows and in our case we're going to use the first option where that self transition is going to be a comma b so after representing the self transition a plus b in the following manner we have achieved our final automata which represents the regular expression we were given at the beginning of the example. So thank you everyone for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.